So this past week, Alibaba made a seven-month high as Michael Berry doubled down and increased his stake in the company. Before we look at the charts, I would like to look at this article, and it is coming from investing.com. So Alibaba Hong Kong shares rallied to a seven-month high on Friday after Michael Berry's investment firm hiked the stake in the e-commerce giant. On the news, Alibaba surged over 7%, its highest level since October 2023. Alibaba was the fund's second biggest holding, with Scion increasing its position in Alibaba by 50,000 shares to 125,000 shares total, worth around $9 million. Now, for those who don't know, Burry, who famously predicted the and showed that the 08 U.S. housing crisis has been buying into heavily discounted Chinese technology stocks over the past year on bets that the sector will rebound, tracking a broader post-COVID recovery in the Chinese economy. Now, while Chinese stocks fizzled in 2023, Burry's bet now appears to be bearing fruit so far in 2024. Alibaba now is trading up 14% year-to-date. Still, the broader Chinese stock market marked a strong rebound over the past two months as global investors slowly warmed up to local stocks amid persistent government support. China was also seen winding down a regulatory crusade against its internet giants over the past year as Beijing looked to all avenues to boost growth. Alright, so going up to the monthly chart and we can see these dashed lines represent levels of interest. We have one at 60, which was a bottom, one at roughly $70, which is a short-term bottom, one at 80, which was uh, support, support, uh, one at 100, round hole psych like psychological number, uh, support resistance, support, and then one at $115, resistance, support, resistance. All right, now taking it down to the weekly chart, what I do want to bring to your attention is that price was in this huge $20 sideways range until prices broke down uh, back last year in, in November before bottoming, and one can say forming a double bottom. Now, during this time period, from say November to April, you had the sellers who rejected the price several times, once, twice, third time, a fourth time, but eventually the buyers eventually won the battle. And we had a closing candle above this weekly supply weekly sellers level back in late April. So scrolling to the daily chart, you can see we had several touches in which price was rejected. Again, until price finally broke out. Now, typically, when you are approaching a zone and you want to know if it's going to be uh, breached or closed above, in this case, you want to look at how the price action does before the zone and what you can see is you have several candles indicating it has some basing meaning that the buyers were just building up their position and calling other buyers to eventually in this case gap higher and close above um, so you could say that you did have a daily bias level which was going against a weekly sellers level but this zone was getting weaker each time price entered the zone, right? It was continuing to eat away at the unfilled sell orders. Now, where's price heading to next? Well, it's heading to $100. Why? If you scroll out to the weekly chart, you can see that it was the top of this sideways price action and you could also see that's where you have a um, bunch of support and resistance in the form of rejection wicks or buy wicks 
typically a lot of trading means that the buyers and sellers are equally distributed and so kind of play the extremes which mean buy your next target to come in at the $100 and that should make Michael Berry a happy happy man thanks for watching subscribe please like the video